P-O-S-T! P-O-S-T, Post, the serials you like the most, brings you the Roy Rogers Show, starring the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. It's roundup time on the double R bar. So saddle your horse, cause we're gonna ride far. The double R bar ranch transcribes stories and songs of the real West with the Whippoorwills. The wisest trail scout of them all, Jonah Wilde, played by Forrest Lewis. The Queen of the West, Dale Evans. And in person, the King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. Well, howdy, folks. This is Roy Rogers. Say, yesterday was sure a big day, wasn't it, Buckaroos? You know, one thing I was thankful for is that so many of my friends are taking me at my word. They've had their mom put Post cereals on the shelf because I told them anything bearing the brand name Post is good. So thanks a lot. Well, sir, we've heard rumors that Glenn DeBone and his gang are in Paradise Valley somewhere. And we're waiting for them to make their first move so we can go after them. Not even the law's been able to find us, kid. How'd you get here? Well, what difference does it make? I want to join up with you. Uh, we don't take outsiders. My gang's a closed corporation. I could help you, though, Mr. Dubona. I'd be a big help. Ah, you're a green kid. You wouldn't know what to do. Why don't you try me? What? But... All right. Bring back 10,000 cash by tomorrow noon, and we'll talk about letting you in. Ten... Ten thousand dollars? Sure. Well, where will I get that much? How do I know? You want to be part of the gang? All right. Earn your place. Now, go on, get out. Yeah. Thanks. Just one thing, kid. My name is Selby. Herb Selby, Mr. DuBona. If you don't come back with the money, the full amount and on time, we'll have to take care of you. It's not safe to have an outsider running loose knowing where we are. Yes, sir. Now, get going, then. See you at noon tomorrow. <laughs> uh, he'll hightail it out of his territory so fast. Nobody will ever see his dust. <laughs> a green kid, huh, hobo? Yeah. And just to play safe, you better follow him. See that he doesn't get into trouble. Okay, Debona. If he does, you know what to do. Yeah, I know what to do. Now, Red. Yeah? You trail Hobbler. Keep out of sight. I don't trust him. Hobbler's all for himself, not the gang. <laughs> Uh, what is it? What do you want? I know you're there. What, what do you want? I'm watching to see how you follow orders, that's all. You're after me, aren't you? If I don't get the money for Debona, you, you'll kill me. Because I know about the gang. The only thing I was told is to watch you. There's no way for me to raise $10,000. I'd like to get in with Debona, but I, I can't get... Look... You, you talk to him for me. Ask him to be more reasonable. I, I, I don't can't... talk to anybody. I just work for DeBona. I've got a gun I hired out. Oh. If Glenn DeBona buys it, I do his work. If somebody else does, I do theirs. Then you kill for money. You got a job you want done? A thousand cash. That, that's nothing to what I have to get for DeBona, but I know where I could get more. A lot more, and by noon tomorrow, only I don't know how. Now that I'm face to face with it, I'm, I'm scared. I'll be all right, though, as quick as I have the gang back. I mean, I, I won't be scared then. Where is this, though? Well, there's a hermit, Phil Warner. He lives out on Tomahawk Ridge, a sod house. He was a prospector in his younger days. He's got gold dust and nuggets hidden out there. I know where to find it, and if I could get hold of it, I could join up with the bone. I hate to do this. Old, old Phil never harmed anybody, but how else am Where's I going to... Where's the thousand? I can give it to you now. And, and I won't have to see you again, will I? I can just go out to Phil's place in the morning and dig up the money and give it to Mr. DeBona by noon. Give me the thousand. I'll take care of everything tonight. <laughs> Yes? You 
Phil Warner. That's right. Wait now, I, I didn't say you could come in. Anybody else around? What are you doing with that gun? Are you alone? Somebody else here? I'm alone, but you put that gun down, put it down, I say. A lone horseman leaves the sod house and rides through the night. He turns into a lane, rides toward a ranch house. He's at the Double R Bar Ranch. He gets off the horse, knocks on the door. The door opens. Roy Rogers is standing there. Roy, quick, can you help me? I've, I've just killed a man. What's that, Phil? I killed a man. I, I need help. Oh, Jonah? Oh, Jonah, come here. I don't know who he is or why he come to my place, but he forced his way in after I opened the door. He had a gun in his hand. Before I know what had happened, I'd shot the fellow. Hey, 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 what's all excitement? Somebody see a flying saucer? Uh, Phil Warner's killed a man, Jonah, and the sheriff's out somewhere with a posse. We'll have to see What'd if... What'd you do that for, Phil? Was you mad at him? We'll ride in and leave a note for the sheriff, then go on to Phil's place. We'd probably better pick up Dale, too. Roy, should I stay here? You stay right here and get some rest, Phil. We'll see you again when we get back. <laughs> Oh, we'll leave the horses out and back here where they won't be seen, just in case anybody rides up. Boy, these mornings are sure nippy, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure was unconsidered to fail to shoot a man at this particular time. What's the matter, Jonah? Well, I didn't get more than 10 or 15 minutes sleep all night. So I didn't get no sleep. Went to bed and got to thinking about how uncomfortable I used to be in the Army doing all-night sentry duty. I'd be dead ratted if I could get to sleep. <laughs> oh, come on, Jonah, you gonna stay on that horse all day? Oh. Wait for orders, that's all. We'll go around to the front door. You'd better forget your army days if that's the way it affects you, Jonah. Yeah, well, I got to worrying about the time I was doing sentry duty and nearly shot Corporal Dumphy. Your pal? Yeah, yeah. Couldn't tell if it was a giant two-legged porcupine coming towards me or an Indian wearing a feather bonnet. <laughs> all it was was Corporal Dumphy. Somebody put glue in his bear grease, so when the corporal used the stuff, it made his hair stick straight up from all sides. Oh, <laughs> fine. Yeah, well, we got the glue out, dipped his head in boiling water a few times. Boiling water? Uh-huh. Water was plentiful in that locality. But we what about have... Corporal Dumphy? Oh, well, he complained a little, and his face redded up, as I remember. Uh, but watch it now. No. Oh. There, Roy, on the floor. Yeah, Phil wasn't having any dream when he said he'd killed a man. I've seen this man somewhere before, Roy. Yeah, he's a bad hombre. Wells Hobbler. Hobo, they called him. Well, what we better do, Roy? Wait till the sheriff gets here? No, we'll look around and go back and make a report to his office. Save him time. Roy, there's somebody outside. I... Oh, I... I didn't know anybody was here. Hiya, Selby. Excuse me, I'll, I'll be back later. Oh, come on in. Well, that's all, all right. You're a long way from home, aren't you, Selby? Well, a little. I, I thought I'd drop in and see what's the matter. There's been some trouble here. Well, Phil's all right, isn't he? Phil's... Uh, look here. Oh. Phil says he killed him. He's an outlaw named Wells Hobbler. Well, did, did, did the outlaw talk before he died? No, I, I guess he didn't have a chance. You'd better sit down, Selby. You look all in. Yeah, you're acting like Jerk and Jake did during his nervous fits. Well, I, I'm fine. There's, there's nothing wrong with me. Well, I guess I better be going. What's your hurry? I only dropped by to see Phil. Phil and I are good friends. We, well, we... we'll ride back with you. I'm about finished here. Well, I should be going now. What time is it? It's about 9.30. Oh, I, I'm, I'm late already. I, I'm certainly glad Phil's all right. It's good of you to look after him, Roy. Well, what's the matter with him? The same as Jerk and Jake having a nervous fit. Exactly. Well, let's go. There won't be any real trouble for Phil, especially since the man he killed is a known outlaw. Roy, Herb Selby is leaving. Hey, Selby, just a minute. We're riding back now, too. Close the door, will you, Jonah? Well, thanks, Roy, but I'm not going toward town. I'm going the other way. Well, so are we. We're going to try to catch up with the sheriff. Come on, Dale, Jonah. Well, what I mean is I, I thought I'd stay and wait for Phil. He'll 
Well, Phil will probably need company when he comes back. Well, nobody's staying here, Selby. Not until after the sheriff has done his investigating. But, Roy, I, I don't think I'd Come on, mount up. Me. You better ride along with us. with him, Roy, riding behind us this way. Oh, he's a potential deserter, as General Thomas Kenneth Rhodes, eh? Selby's in some kind of trouble. It's connected with Phil Warner, but I can't figure how. Those riders back there, they're following us. See, Roy? No, they're not, Selby. Why'd anybody be following us? Hey, wait a minute. Maybe they are following us. I'm getting out of here. Hup. He's Hup. making a break for it, Roy. Why, the fellow's as loony as a bed beetle. Well, let's stay with him. Those hombres behind us are trying to get Selby. Let's stop them. Come on, Trigger. You know, the way folks all over the country are going for Post Sugar Crisp, it's got to be good. You bet. Post's wonderful new cereal treat has caused a sensation everywhere. And if you've tried it at your house, you know why. As a cereal, it's dandy. For snacks, it's so handy. Or eat it like candy. Post Sugar Crisp really perks up a breakfast menu. It's so delicious. Just add milk or cream and it's ready to serve. No sugar needed. It's already sweet. It makes a perfect snack between meals, too, whenever you crave a special treat. And folks love to carry Post Sugar Crisp right along with them, wherever they go, and eat it like candy right out of the package. It's wholesome wheat for nourishment. And that sugar and honey coating for flavor and quick energy make it a wonderful pickup anytime. Don't just take my word for it. You try it. Get Post Sugar Crisp in the giant or regular size package with the three little bears on the front. Sugar Crisp, one of the famous triple wrap Post cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. <laughs> While Roy, with Dale and Jonah, were investigating the shooting at Phil Warner's place, Herb Selby arrived. Selby was nervous, uneasy, and tried to find an excuse for not leaving when the others did. Roy, however, insisted. They rode away together. And now, as they approach Selby's home, they discover that they're being followed. Selby loses control of himself. He races ahead. Roy, Dale, and Jonah go after him. Come on, Trigger. Take us out of here. Ah! Those hombres back there are trying to get silk. Let's stop it. Ah, that's how us old army men do it, Roy. Selby! Selby, head for the house! Follow him, Dale. Don't let Selby out of your sight. We've broken this up for now, but somebody's after him, and they'll be back. Selby? I want to know why those men are after you. I don't know. And I'll take the position of a sniper by this window right here, Roy. And I'll be ready for the war hogs if they make another charge. I'll take the other one, Roy. All right. Come on, Selby. Who are they? Roy, a couple of hombres just rode up out front. Thanks, Jonah. They're here for you, Selby. It's Debona's gang. I tried to join up with them, and now I'm in trouble, a lot of trouble. And they're sure tough-looking hombres. Must be ex-drill sergeants. This is Glenn DeBona's gang you're talking about, huh, Selby? They think I killed Hobo. I, I was supposed to get $10,000 to DeBona by noon today, and Hobo followed me to see how I got it. Why are you supposed to get money for DeBona? To prove I had nerve enough to be a member of his gang. Okay, them two out front are from the bunch who was following us, Roy. I recognize your horses. Oh, they must be his trigger men. Come to get me. Roy, could you go to Mr. DeBona and tell him I didn't kill Hobo? You know where he is? Yes. Yes, I think so. I, I know where you could get in touch with him. What about his gang? Oh, they stay close to him. If you was carrying a box or a bundle, Roy, you could make them think it was the money from me, and they'd get you inside. Then you could tell Demona that Phil Warner killed a hobo. You're really scared, aren't you, Selby? They're after me, Roy, and I, I didn't kill anybody. You know I didn't. Yeah, one thing about Jerk and Jake, he never whined. Where does Demona and his gang hang out? Over at the old mill. So that's it. Anybody out in back, Jonah? No, 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 not as far as I can see. Dale, if Joan and I keep those two hombres busy out front, do you think you can slip out the back and ride on through to town? I can sure try. It's not very far. Well, go to the sheriff's office. Have his deputies spread word that we've located the bone and are out to take him. 
The whole town will form a posse, Roy. Watch it now. Have your gun ready, Jonah, just in case. I'll watch for a signal from you, Roy. Yeah. And if I'd have known there was so much fighting outside of the army, I'd have never retired. Watch it now. Big mistake. Hey, come here a minute. I want to talk to you. You speaking to me? Both of you. What's on your mind? Some money that was supposed to go to Glenn DeBona. He's your boss, isn't he? If you've got money for the boss, come on out and hand it to us. Go when you get a chance, Dale. Keep him covered, Jonah. Bad situation. Oh, I hope you get through, Roy. I hope you get through. Holster those guns. Yeah, that looks better. Don't try anything funny. We know who you are, and we know who you got inside. All right, stop there. My partner's coming up to get the money. Go ahead, Red. All right, Roger. Whatever you got, give it to him. Here it is. <coughs> Red, it's a trick. I'll get you, Roger. Get back in here, Roy. Oh. Yeah. He drawed back a nub that time, Roy. Gun flew right out of his hand. Here, Jonah, catch. All right, mister, we're even now. Neither of us have guns. You're gonna get what's coming. I'm warning you, cowboy. Oh, you're warning me, huh? Oh. That's laying them down, Roy. See, that's laying them down. Trigger, come here, fella. Hey, what you want me to do is this, buzzard. I want to call Red. I'll let him lay. Trigger's bringing up my rope. We'll tie them both up, then finish our job. Check this knot, Jonah. Yeah, uh, just let me do the tying, Roy. I'll tie them tighter in the handle on a jug. Well, make sure. We want both of them when we get back. Yeah, I learned how on a kind of an army cook. You see, we tie him up every time we got a shipment of food and leave him tied until it was all laid up. Figured it was better to eat the stuff raw than to let that dishwater walrus cook it. Mm. Here, how's them knots look? Good. Now, Selby, I want to talk to you. But, Roy, we, we should be using every minute to get away. We, we should well, What do you know about the killing out at Phil Warner's place? Nothing. I don't know anything about it. I, I swear I don't. You're lying. You rode out there this morning. You knew something had happened. You were surprised that it hadn't happened to Phil. No, Roy, no, I, I'm telling the truth. You thought I... Phil Warner was the one who had been shot. That's all wrong, Roy. And you came out to take Phil's money. You were going to buy your way into the bonus gang with money you'd stole from Phil. No, Roy, no. And why did you want to hang around after the rest of us were gone? I don't know. I, I don't know. I... All right, come on. We're turning you over to Debona right now. Debona? You told us where he was. Since he wants you, we're taking you to him. No, give me a chance, Roy. I... I'll tell the truth. I'll tell everything. Debona had one of his trigger men follow me. I, I made a deal with him. It was hobo. I, I, I paid him a thousand dollars to kill Phil Warner. You paid to have a man like Phil Warner killed? You don't deserve to live. <laughs> Time up, too, Jonah. Yeah, I will. So tight, he'll be here at supper time on doomsday. Make it as fast as you can. A lower snake I never did see. We'll go meet Dale. And whether she's got a posse along or not, we'll clean out the bone and his whole gang. You keep the lead, Dale. Where the posse was heading. They're taking the main trail straight to the old mill. There, there they are, Roy, up ahead. Say, it looks as though the whole town's in that posse. They were mighty glad when I told them we knew where Dubona had his headquarters. This is a job everybody wants to do, Dale. If you're looking for a wealth of good eating for breakfast, dig into a mountain of golden, crisp post toasties, the heap good cornflakes. Say, one brimming bowl full of Post Toasties, and you'll know you've struck breakfast gold. Because Post Toasties are rich in sweet kernel flavor, rich in right-out-of-the-oven freshness. Sure, Post Toasties are one of the famous triple-wrap Post Cereals. Guaranteed fresh or triple your money back. Post Toasties, heap good corn flakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heap good corn flakes, post toasties, heap good corn flakes. And remember, post toasties with sugar and cream are not only heap good, they're heap good nourishment. Try them with fresh fruit, too. Boy, oh boy. 
Just be sure you get Post Toasties, the best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Post Toasties heap good corn flakes. The best thing that's happened to corn since the Indians discovered it. Heap good corn flakes. Post Toasties heap good corn flakes. Boys, up to now, this is my party. And it's a party I'll really enjoy attending. With Roy and Anid and Dale and Jonah following just behind, the men of Paradise Valley ride down upon the old sawmill, encircle it, form a ring of horsemen that none of the outlaws will be able to break. This has got to be the end of Debona and his gang. Let's clean this place out. Show these Al Hoots we do want them around in our territory. <laughs> Men advance upon the mill, throw open the door, and push on through. The owners men are trapped like rats. A posse tears into them, fighting for all their work. There's joy in this fight, joy for everyone except the outlaws. Caught on the bears, the outlaws lose some of their toughness, their arrogance. The men of Paradise Valley are out to beat them, and beat them they will. That just about takes care of this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, well, the only place I ever saw more messed up was a bugler's tent. Today he read his watch wrong and blew Reveille four hours early. <laughs> We're not quite finished, though. Where's the bonus? I thought I saw him heading for that room in the back when the fight started, Roy. You boys hold these others here. I'm going after the bonus. Don't you want some help? Say, Dale, when you see that look in Roy's eyes, he don't want no help, and he don't need no help. <laughs> Roy lunges at the door to the back room. The door smashes open. All right, Debona. Where are you? Debona's crouching beneath the table. He knows his time has come. Get up. Come on, Debona, get up. I'm here to take you just by myself. Roy moves closer to the gang leader. You're going to pay for all you've done. Your robberies, your killings, the misery you've caused other people. Debona is on his feet now. Roy lashes out at him. You're going to pay, Debona. Get you. Debona is staggering. You're going to pay plenty. You all through with him, Roy? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so, Jonah. We'll take him back to town with the others. Yeah, there's three more at Herb Shelby's place, don't forget. We won't forget them. And let's hurry it up. I won't be around men like these any longer than I have to. over. I'm glad we had a fair chance at him. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about one thing, though. See, I'm sorry about one thing. Mm -hmm. I compared that polecat to a feller like Jerk and Jake Gollick. I don't believe we know him, Jonah. Well, the only thing wrong with Jake was that he got nervous so easy. J just like the time General Thomas Kenneth Rowe gave himself a birthday party. Gave himself a party? Why, sure. So the officers would know what day it was and bring presents. Oh. <laughs> you see, you don't understand how things are done, Dale. No, you don't. You see, Jerk and Jake run a trading post, and the general orders his cake from there. Mm -hmm. And Jake was to deliver it in person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Jake started getting nervous on the way over there. And by the time he walked into the general's quarters, where the party was, he got to jerking something wonderful. Mm. And the first thing, the cake fell apart, then the lighted candles spilled all over, 68 of them. Makes <laughs> quite a picture. Yeah, and the general started for Jake, and Jake jerked right into the general, knocked him back on the sharp antlers of a stuffed deer head. Oh, this is getting worse, <laughs> Poor boy. old jerking Jake tried to jerk the general loose, but he jerked the wrong way. <laughs> and the first thing you know, he had to say, well, to make a long story short, <laughs> it is some time before the general rode a horse again, mm -hmm. and even when he did, he rode with a limp. But Jonah, uh, did this really happen? It's the truth, Roy. I say it's the truth. <laughs> I can show you the old trading post of General T.K. Rowe closed up personal after he run Jerk and Jake out of the territory. I'd like to see that old... Oh, thing. no, you don't, Dale. Let's just let this whole matter drop and go in and get our supper. <laughs> I know how this fella is when you let him keep talking. Oh, 
stars are gleaming in San Angelo. The night we parted was just a year ago. I lost my heart in San Angelo. I see your sweet face and your eyes aglow. I hear you say, oh darling, don't go. I've tried forgetting, but in my heart I know that I'll return to San Angelo. I'm always Stars are gleaming in San Angelo. The night we parted was just a year ago. I lost my heart in San Angelo. I see sweet face and your eyes aglow I hear you say oh darling don't go I've tried forgetting but in my heart I know that I'll read Say, writers, want to be the envy of your gang? Then be the first to own the exciting new Roy Rogers Western Rings. You'll want to get all 12 of these wonderful full-color metal rings, adjustable to fit any size finger. They're all different. One ring pictures Roy himself. Others are of Dale, Trigger, and Bullet. And there are eight more. And they're so easy to get. No box tops, nothing to write in for. You'll find one in each Western Ring package. The package with Roy's picture on it of delicious mouth-watering post-raisin bran. That's right, only in post-raisin bran, the fruit and cereal treat. So start on your collection now. Be sure to get the new Western Ring package of post-raisin bran. That's all for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you, from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Happy trails to you Until we meet again Happy trails to you Keep smiling until then The Roy Rogers Show is brought to you by Post Serials Each week at this same time With the Whippoorwills, Forrest Lewis, Dale Evans and the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. An Art Rush production transcribed, directed by Tom Hargis, script by Ray Wilson, music by Milton Charles. Featured in today's cast were Frank Hemingway, Ralph Moody, Parley Bear, and Nestor Paiva. This is Art Ballinger speaking for... P.O.S.T. Post Serials. Happy trails to you Until we meet Again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the clouds if we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails.